Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Tinsham and today we're gonna check the UMAP package that you can import into your Adobe's project. So if you haven't already done it, you can go onto your uh, My Downloads on your A panel and find the Adobe's UMR here and just click download. After it has been downloaded, you can just import it in your project. And I have already done that. Uh, so if I just press play right now, uh, the login will have changed and so will the character deletion screen will have changed. Uh, please take note that it's important for you guys to uh, create a new account as these accounts are not this mix and match. So uh, you'll need to create a new account if you already created an account with the other kind of uh, character package. So I've already created a new account. If I go here and click login. I'll have the UMA package. Uh, right now, there's two bug actually. The first one is if I click back race, I'll see there's have like a princess here. And same with the knight. This we can't change for now, but that's going to give us another bug. So just to fix that problem right now, just click stop. And if you go and you write down uh, race. Uh, sorry, not, uh, yeah, human race here. Click. You see it says knight and princess. So what we'll do, we'll just drag the prefab directly. So I'll just lock my window so I don't lose that one. And I'll go into the resource. And human female, I'll put it here. And do the same with the human male. And now if I press play again, I don't like that. And I get into the game. I uh, also create a new character. I won't have the ring from problem, except like the character won't show up until I press uh, the gender again. So I can switch classes, but whenever I click race, I need to click like on the opposite gender for it to show up. Uh, but uh, for the rest, it works pretty good. This is for version 2.60. Of the UMA pack, it will be fixed in the version 2.6.1 coming out pretty soon. And as you know, while well, the UI can change the height of your character, so really tiny to really big, and you have the same for the head, so you can change your forehead and the forehead size, etc. Face, so you can change the position of everything. Every sliders are working right now. Same with the hair color, and you have different type of style that you can use. So let's I want to create that character. Well let's call her this thing. And I'm gonna hit create. And I can click on that character and enter the world. And all seems fine for now. Except for the jump and that's gonna be another tutorial. But at least it's gonna get you started on the UMA pack. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below in the YouTube video. Once again, my name is Jean-Smith Hope you enjoyed that video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.